Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at how you can easily receive foreign payment right here in Nigeria with ease. And you don't need to have any PayPal account or Payoneer account or domiciliary account or most of these accounts that are currently difficult for you to go ahead to create them to start receiving foreign payment right here in Nigeria. So I will walk you a simple step-by-step -step process that you can follow right now to go ahead to start receiving foreign payments right here in Nigeria without any hassles. So do well to stick to this video to the very end as I go ahead to share this information information with you right here okay now if today is your first time to come into this channel my name is martin and on this channel i share with you guys the make money online strategies and different ways you can effectively make money online and successfully withdraw that money right here in nigeria so that you can be able to give yourself and your family a good life so if this is the kind of video that interests you please consider subscribing to this channel like this video and click that bell notification icon so that once i share awesome information right here youtube notify you so that you come right here and start taking advantage of that information that i'm sharing right here free of charge to go out there and start making money for yourself so the platform that we are going to be using to receive this foreign payment with ease is known as seller.co now if you already use seller trust me you are going to be learning one or two new things that can help you to be able to effectively use the platform better all right so once you come over to the seller.co simply go ahead and click on start selling okay now once you click on start selling it's going to bring up a page where you just go ahead and sign up for free on the platform so i already have an account with seller.co right now so once you sign into the account this is how the account will be like as you can see i'm not using the pro version i'm using the free version and you can do this using their free version okay so once you land on this page all you simply have to do is to go ahead and click on this hamburger icon right here and once you click on that scroll down right here and you are going to see where we we'll have settings okay go ahead and click on that settings and click on store currencies okay now once you click that now you this is how your store currencies is now being set at okay now since because we are interested in receiving only foreign payment now what you have to do is this place that they have custom editable currency settings now go ahead and select the currency you want to set okay now what we want to set right here is the usd and also the british pounds okay now the ghana cds and other currencies right here which are african denomination currency we are not interested in those currencies okay so once you have done this one go ahead and click on update details now once your details are updated scroll down right here and uncheck all these other currencies that we we'll have under here okay now the only currencies that we will be leaving right here is also the british pounds and also the usd because this is the only currency we want to enable as our store currencies okay so once you've done that also go ahead and click on update details now once you have done these two things you are good to go so the next thing we need to do is just to go ahead and click the hamburger icon again then scroll up right here now you're going to see where we have product okay so go ahead and click on that product and go ahead and click on add products so once you click on add products now seller allow you to select different types of products so they have fiscal product digital product ticket subscription services okay now we'll go ahead and use the services right here okay so we'll go ahead and click on next under the services now once you click on services now here is where you have to put in the services that you are selling or any information that you want the person that is going to be paying you money in foreign currency to have access to to know that okay you are the person that is sending this to them because they already know that you are going to be sending them a link or something that they will use to make payments to you okay so the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and upload an image right here so as you can see the image can be at least 300 to 300 Brazil, okay it's going to be a square image that's what they mean right here okay so i already have an image right here so if you have an image of the service you're trying to sell go ahead and upload it right here so i've gone ahead to upload my own image now the next thing you have to do right here is to name the product okay so for example the image of the project i uploaded right here is for web development services so i can simply come right here and also name it martin eo web development services so if you look at the prices right here we have to set the naira the usd and also the british pounds prices okay so right here i can go ahead and decide that the naira price is going to be like maybe five hundred thousand. then for usd pounds it's going to be like one thousand and also the british pounds is going to be like one thousand okay now once i have done that then the next thing i need to do is to go ahead and put a short description of 
the services so that the client will know that okay this is what i'm selling right here or you can go ahead and put the deliverables which is what the client is going to be getting once they buy this your services or once they pay for this your services okay so i already have my own description i want to put in right here so i'll go ahead and paste this right here okay so once you put in your description now the next thing you need to do is to go ahead and select the categories that your services fall under okay so i'll go ahead right now and i will select um software and tech because it's about web development and the subcategories is going to be website design and development okay now once i've done that now the next thing i have to do is under these more details right here now if you have an external url you want to redirect your client once they make a payment now you can go ahead and click this automatically redirect buyer to this external url so maybe you want they have to download something after they make payment or they want to do something else okay this is what you're going to do and you you go ahead right here and select the link that you want them to do to visit once they be able to do that okay now but i'm not interested in that because i just want them to pay me for the services i've already rendered okay now the next thing i have to do right here once you have gone ahead to under these more details now the next thing you have to do is to go to this advanced option and once you get to this advanced option now this checkout button cta you have to put your own call to action that you want to use there so instead of having it as default that is going to say buy now you can simply go ahead and put in something like pay martin or pay anything or any other information or test you want to put for you to display on your button okay now once you have done that and the next thing and very important thing you need to do is to hide this product from your store home page so that once somebody visits your store home page they are not going to see the product they can only see the product when you send them that link to make payment for you okay so once you have filled all this simply go ahead and click on create product all right now the seller is going to go ahead and create your product and this is the link to your product now once you have created your product the next important thing you need to do is to simply come down right here now you will see another options that come out right here which is this customize url and image review okay so all we have to do right here is to go ahead and customize the url okay so instead of having the url to show up as seller.co slash this fsbn right here so we can change this stuff to anything we want to change it to okay so since we are offering web development right here so we can simply set it as seller.co web dev i can put it dash martin okay so anything that you know that if your client see or if the person see they will know that you are the person that is sending it to them because they already know that they are expecting a link to make payment to you that's what you have to put right there and once you have done that simply go ahead and click on update product okay so once you have updated your link go ahead and open this link in a new tab all right now this is the link that you are going to be sending to your clients or to the person you want to receive foreign payments from and they will go ahead and click on this pay now to be able to pay you okay now here is the things that we fill out here so you see the image we uploaded that's why they say you should upload a square image so that everything will appear correctly okay now this is going to be the title of the service you're offering and this is going to be your name and this is going to be description of what you are offering okay now right here the button right here, as you can see is saying pay martin instead of saying buy now okay and it's showing the currency right here so if the person is in a british country okay now the person is going to be seen to pay with pounds okay whereas if the person is in usd the thing will be showing up right here as the usd okay so the person can be able to pay you in usd right here okay and you will go ahead and receive your money down here in nigeria once they go ahead and click on pay now all right now the next important thing i also want to share with you guys right here is that if you are able to receive foreign currency consistently for three months like you have been receiving usd consistently for three months now stella is going to go ahead and activate an extra feature for you that will make your trying to trust you more now the feature they will activate is where they will be showing payment secured by stripe and paypal okay now what that means is that it's going to build more confidence in your customers to go ahead and use that this platform to pay you thousands of dollars because they already know that you are fully verified okay and this can only happen when you have consistently received foreign payment right here on your seller account okay now once they go ahead and click on pay now now instead of just
don't them seeing only pay now they will also see another button that's going to tell them to pay you via paper okay so they will have different option to pay you right here okay so that's one thing i want to share with you guys right here so the another thing i also want to show you guys right here is that if you simply come over right here and go over to your wallet now once you land on your wallet you are going to see the balance or any money you have on your wallet that you can easily go ahead and start withdrawing okay now if you go to pay out you will see the money that has been paid out to your bank okay now the other thing that you can go ahead and do is to set your payout setting so let's say you doesn't want to be receiving money each time that the money lands because i think if you receive naira with seller you can easily get your money to your bank account within the next business day okay but if if you receive like usd or any other foreign currency i think it used to take like seven to 10 business day for you to be able to receive your money down to your local bank account okay so in this payout this is where you go ahead and fill in your bank details your local bank details where you'll be receiving the money that your clients are paying you in foreign currency okay because seller will go ahead and convert the money for you okay and in most cases they use the black market rate to pay you so their exchange rate is always good okay so you can also go ahead and shut them up for you to be able to get the exchange rate that they are currently giving out or paying out right now once you want to go ahead to withdraw your money so you can also go ahead instead of setting this your payment schedule to automatic you can go ahead and change it to manual and go ahead and click on update so it means that seller will not gonna be sending payment directly to your bank account okay it's only when you want to receive payment that you can simply go ahead and click to withdraw your payment whenever you want to do that okay but i like it being set to automatic so that the money can easily go to my bank account without me having to come right here to do this stuff by myself okay now that's thing i would like to share with you guys let's say you made a mistake in your product when you're setting up your product so you can simply go over to all products and you will see all the products you already have now you can simply go ahead and click on the dot icon then you are going to see this edit button okay so simply go ahead and click on the edit button so you can go ahead and edit any mistake you already made or correct something or update something that you want to go ahead and update and once you are done with that simply go ahead and click on update product and the product will easily update now another thing i forgot to mention on this page is that once you come right here once you have been able to generate consistent usd payment or foreign currency payments to your account for three months now for you to be able to get the payment secured by stripe and paypal under right here now you have to go ahead and chat up the seller customer support right there on their website okay so once you go ahead and send them a message that you want them to go ahead and activate that for you they will simply go ahead and activate that for you now lastly the next thing i want to share with you guys right here is the pricing okay now right here since seller is currently free for you to use as you can see what we are using right here is the free plan right here that's what we are using okay but you also have to note that they have other transactions that you have to bear in mind okay so for example right now since we are working with foreign currencies which is this usd and pounds right here so now here is the current transaction fees that seller is currently charging once you are receiving foreign payment right now okay so this usd right here, as you can see that the standard rate right here is 10 percent plus 50 cents okay and what this means is that if you receive a payment of 100 usd now it means that seller is going to charge you 10 percent of that payment which is now going to be that you'll be getting 90 usd okay now they will also charge you plus 50 cents now 50 cents is just half of a dollar okay so it means that at the end of the day if you receive 100 usd what you'll be getting at the end of the day is going to be like 89.50 dollars okay so that's what you'll be getting now the same thing goes with the british pounds right here so they also charges 10 percent right here plus 50 pence okay so i believe this is also important for me to point out so that you can be able to make the best informed decision when you go ahead and start using this platform to receive foreign payment from your client or from anyone outside of this country okay so if you want to sign up on this seller platform go ahead and use the link that i have in the description of this video to go ahead and sign up on the seller platform to create your account and start receiving foreign payment for yourself and also if you have any questions go ahead and drop it in the comment section and i will go ahead to respond to each questions that you have right here concerning this seller platform and how you can easily receive foreign payment with it or any other questions you have concerning the seller platform okay so i hope you find this video valuable and if you do kindly consider subscribing 
subscribing to this channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button like this video and click that bell notification icon so that you will get updated once i share other awesome youtube videos right here for you because i also go ahead and create other tutorials on how you can be able to start making money using this seller platform okay so do well to make sure you are a subscriber on this channel to be able to see that video when i go ahead to start creating it thank you guys for watching this video and see you in my next video